Okay, so hello everybody. I am back. And today I am here with a video with a couple back to school tips. Just for you. So this can go for anybody that's going back to school. Um, middle school or mainly college. But some of the tips can apply to junior high, high, college what have you so there's just a couple things that I thought of that I use and some things I wish I would have thought of early on so um let's get started so for those who are going back to college or just starting you know freshmen just starting college um one thing that I didn't learn until late in the game in grad school was once you register for your classes, you can go on to probably your school website in your class description box and find your syllabus with your professor. Find your syllabus and they already have your book in there and you can actually find, you can actually go get the book early. And one thing that I didn't know was if you get the book early, way before school even starts, like, it'll probably be cheaper. Probably if you're getting it outside of the school bookstore. I know for me, I would get mine from a local bookstore, and it was cheaper. Back when I first registered for the class, it was cheaper, and I didn't think, I didn't know that. I thought it would be the same price. And I waited until probably a couple of days before class started and checked back to see if they still had the book and it was marked up ridiculously. So you may want to, as soon as you register, you may want to go ahead and look into buying the book because it may be cheaper than I learned that lesson the hard way. So <laughs> you might want to get ahead of the game in. And also, you want to go ahead and take a look at your syllabus. If you have your book, if you got your book early, you may want to go ahead and get ahead on some of the reading and just looking at the materials that you're going to be working on for the term. So that way you can kind of get ahead of the game. Um, also, one thing that I did was I made myself an assignment calendar. And I put it next to my personal calendar. And I just wrote in on it all the assignments that I had and all the assignments that I had and their due dates. So that way I could stay on top of things because one of my biggest issues was I would forget about some assignments, especially the due dates. How am I going to remember due dates for an assignment that I didn't even remember that I had? So once I did that, it kept me on track. And it, will, it should keep you from procrastinating. It should, you know, keep you from messing yourself up. So that's a really good thing. And also, on that calendar, you may want to add in some important dates as far as school breaks and end of the term dates and drop at for college students, drop ad dates. Those are pretty big drop ad dates because you don't want to get charged for a class. You don't want to get stuck in a class that you don't want to take at that time. So, you know, any important dates. Um, and just, you know, like I said, I put it next to my personal calendar so that way I could, I would remember, hey, you know, check back and forth and make sure that I'm on top of my assignment. Um, also, you're going to want to price match your assignments and, I mean, <laughs> price match your supplies. Um, you I don't want to spend, and, and price match with clothes too, and do your research and find out if your area is having tax-free weekend and find out when they're having back to school sales and you may want to take advantage of that time period to do all of your shopping. And another thing that I think would be a good idea, and this could go for all students, you know, elementary, middle, high, college, so on and so forth. Um, setting, set personal goals for yourself and set standards and expectations for your school year. 
and you can go off of the kind of year that you had before. You know, if you had a really bad year, bad with grades, or just bad with, you know, personal relationships or friendships, you know, set some goals for yourself and map out how you're going to accomplish it. What you're going to do, like if you want to make straight A's this year, sit down and map out how you're going to get those straight A's. Are you going to study one to two hours every other day or every day? Sit down and map that out. Write it out. Tack it up somewhere where you can see it where it's visual and try your best to follow it. So that way, hopefully you pass your class. And if you do pass me, you could have passed all A's, which would be awesome. It gives you a lot of confidence. And it'll make you feel, it'll just be a lot of confidence and make you feel good about yourself. And then you'll see that you can, you know, reach your, you can accomplish your goals if you just try. So I think that's, you know, can go for any student. And it's really good personal development. And last but not least, enjoy the rest of your summer. That's all of my tips. Like I said, I didn't have that many. But I did have some that I could have used back in the day. I ain't going to tell you how far back in the day, but back in the day. So, if you liked this video, which hopefully you did, if you did, please rate and subscribe. And if you did not, don't give up on me yet. I'm sure I have one that's going to catch you. Anyways, talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, so look who I have with me. She just woke up from a nap, so that's why her hair is looking really crazy. But anyways, I want to come back real quick because I forgot to give another, I forgot to stay positive. Stay, stay positive. It's very important to stay positive and stay proactive. Um, you know, if you're having some rough times in the school year, whether it's within school or within your personal life, stay positive and just know that you have to be strong and you'll get through it. Don't be a negative man. Stay positive and you have to know that you can do it. You can make it through the school year. You can pass that class and you can do it with an A. If you get that assignment, I know. No. Just joking. But anyways, that's all of my tips for real this time. I am gone. If you guys like the video, and if you like to, to drink out of her big girl sippy cup with a straw, like G, rate and subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Also, I have a tutorial for this look. Ugh. I'm going to try my best to link it down below. So if you want to check out how <coughs> this look, you check out my video. You dance. Push our button, you dance. Her button don't work. <laughs>